Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a day and night cycle just like what you have seen right here. If you're excited, go ahead and subscribe, like, and let's get started. What you want to do is you want to click on lighting. And lighting is basically the thing that controls the day and night. It controls how your game looks like, how the lighting looks like. That's why it's called lighting. So what you want to really focus on here is you want to, you want to go to clock time. And this clock time and time of day, they're related. And this clock time here, what it is, is it's basically the hour. So this is hour 15. If you set this to 12, you'll see the game just changed a little bit. And this is the clock time. So 12 means it's like 12, uh, 12 p.m. So this is 12 p.m. Zero is like, you can think of zero as like 12 a.m. So like 12, 12 o'clock in the night. And then like one, one, one o'clock in the night, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock seven o'clock and you can see how the uh, day is changing so as a scripter what you want to do to make a day and night cycle is we have to change this clock time and we have to basically what we have to do is we have to do what i just did where we're just kind of modifying this value but we have to do it with code so let's take things simply here so we're going to start off with zero clock time and then we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 12 is 12 p.m., 13 is 1, 1 p.m., 14 is 2 p.m., 15 is 3 p.m., and it just goes on all the way, and then you see the sun sets. You just go to 15, 16, 17, and you can see it gets darker. So we're going to be scripting that, but we're not going to take it. Well, yeah, we're going to script that. So let's start off with like, let's just, let's go with zero. So now what you have to do is you want to create a new script, server script service, insert object script. And now let's start scripting this thing. So go to lighting and remember that we are changing the thing called clock time. So what you want to do is you want to say local lighting equals game dot lighting. Now, what am I doing here? All I'm saying is the lighting is this thing. So I'm making a variable called lighting. And I'm setting it equal to that thing right there on the Explorer. And now, all I have to do is change the clock time. So first, before we get into the full day-night cycle, I want to try practicing with changing the clock time. Just so everyone understands what's going on here. So lighting.clocktime is going to be equal to 15. And lighting.clocktime equals 15. What do you think this is going to do? Well, it's just going to take clock time, which is this thing. And it's going to set it to 15. So now, if you start your game, as you can see right now, it's kind of dark. But if you play it, it will set it to 15. And now it's no longer dark. So now that we know how that works, now we can actually modify this value. And I'm going to first teach it to you in a simple way without using any complicated things. So we're going to start off with uh, 1. And I'm not even going to use a for loop for this. I'm just going to teach it to you super simply. And then we're going to start making it a little bit more advanced. So wait one second. So now what we're doing here is we're setting the clock time to 1. So basically, we're changing this to one, to one. And then we're gonna wait one second. So I'm gonna set it back to zero. So I'm gonna set it to one, then I'm gonna wait one second. And then, then I'm gonna set it to two. Then I'm gonna set it to three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, right? And I'm basically just gonna do this. And we're just gonna go all the way, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is going to go from 1 through 12, and it's going to be very quick. Well, it's not going to be very quick, but it's going to take a little bit. So now just watch the sky. As you can see, the sun starts to rise, and then it will eventually reach 12. So yeah, our day-night cycle is almost complete, but obviously we're going to be making it a little bit better than that, so we can do better. Who wants to look at this repeated lines of code anyway, right? So what we did was we went from we changed the clock time from 1, then we changed it to 2, 3, 4, all the way to 12. We've gotten this far, but what we can do is we can actually turn this into a for loop. So for those who don't know what a for loop is, it's basically a loop. And well, what is a loop? Well, a loop is basically we're telling Roblox to execute some line of code more than one time. That's what a loop is, where instead of typing all of this, we can type it in less lines and do the same thing. So what we have to do is we have to say for i equals 1 to 12. And what is this? Well, we're just saying do this 12 times. So whatever is in line 4, 
will be executed 12 times. Whatever's in between the do and the end, which is line four, it's gonna run 12 times. And what is this i? Well, i is a variable, and i will start at one, the first time it executes. And then i will be set to two, and i will be set to three, and i will go all the way from one, two, three, just like this, to 12. So, instead of doing lighting.clock time equals one, we can actually just do lighting.clock time equals i. Because remember, i starts at one, then i will be two, then i will be three. And then, we'll just wait one, and that, this, these like four lines of code will basically do everything that we did there. And to prove it to you, I'm just gonna play it. As you can see, if you go to lighting, time of day, the clock time, it's just increasing by one. Pretty simple. I don't like that it stops at 12. I want it to go up to 24. This will do a complete day-night cycle right here. For i equals one to 24, let's watch this happen. Go to lighting, clock time, right here. And you can just see, it's just gonna go all the way. Sun will go on the sky. And the moon is up. And as you can see, it's gonna stop right there. So at 24, it hit zero. So now the problem is it worked, but it only did one cycle. So how can we make this do more than one cycle? Well, you might be thinking, let's do another for loop. Well, we can do another for loop, but then we'd have to say like for i equals one to like a billion. And I don't really want to write that. So we're going to use a different type of loop called a while loop. So while something happens, do something else. That's what this while loop is. I'm going to say while true do. So why am I using true here? True is basically, well, it's true. So while true is equal to true, well, true is always equal to true, then do whatever's in this line. So I'm going to take this for loop and put it here. So what are we doing here? So what we're doing is we're saying forever. So this while true do, it means forever. So forever do this code. And this code is basically 24 times set clock time to i. So forever make the day-night cycle work. So that's what we're doing here. And this will work, but I want to do something even better. So what I want to do is I want to make it more smooth because right now, if you look at it, it doesn't look too smooth, does it? I mean, it just looks kind of wacky. I think we can do better, right? So what I think we should do here is we have to, um, we're going to set this, instead of saying wait one, we can say wait 0.1. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it faster because we're waiting less seconds. Still not gonna be too smooth, but it will be a little bit better. And it's gonna be mu much faster. <laughs> Way too fast, right? So now instead of, instead of setting the clock time to i, why don't we set it to a fraction of i? So instead of like one, two, three, four, why don't we set it to 0 0.01, 0 0.02? So to do that, we can divide i by 10. And if we're going to divide this by 10, we might as well multiply this by, by 10. So now instead of going 24 times, we're going to go 240 times. This will work a lot better. This will be a lot smoother because now we're looping more times. And as you can see right here, the clock time is now increasing by a factor of 0.1. Whoa, that looks so much cooler now, doesn't it? As you can see, the sun is beautifully going up in the sky. And now it's going to fall right down. It's going to set. And we can watch the moon. And that is an awesome day-night cycle. I really enjoy it. Now we can make it even better. How about we add another factor of 10 and we divide it by another factor of 10. And then why don't we make this smoother? And let's 0 0.01 instead of 0 0.1. And for those who don't know what we're doing by what we did there is we use something called linear interpolation. And for those who don't know what that is, there will be a video on that. But this is one way you can get things to move smoother. And now, like, if you do it this way, instead of using tween service, you're actually understanding the theory behind what's going on. So if you click play, now you'll see everything is even smoother than before. It'll be a little while. Okay, so now we see the sun is beautifully coming up and it's gonna be right there and then we're gonna watch the sun go down and it is much 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 smoother isn't it now i'm just gonna time lapse this a little bit more okay so now we're gonna have nighttime hit and 
and the sun is majestic. The, the moon is majestically going up in the sky. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. If you are subscribed to my Patreon, then all of the source code and this entire file will be in the download link for you. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.